Hello, Mark from Soundmasters here talking all things vinyl as always. Today I'm going to review the Riga Planner One Turntable, which since its first release in 2005 has quite rightly earned itself the reputation as being one of the best entry-level hi-fi turntables out there on the market. For many people it's the standard by which all others are set. So having undergone various upgrades and incarnations over the years, is the Riga Planner One still the one to beat? Today we're going to find out. Riga as a company are famously dedicated when it comes to the research and development of their products, so much so that they choose to spend very little in the way of marketing, instead focusing those resources into the continuous development of their products. The latest version of the Planner One over the last couple of years has seen many improvements that promises to make it the best, best version of the Planner One yet. Let's take a look at what's different. The latest version of the Planner One now comes in a matte finish rather than the previous gloss, which I think a lot of people will probably just feel that this gives it more of a higher end look and feel. If you prefer wood finishes, there's now a walnut finish option as well, where previously there wasn't. Looking at more of the kind of technical specifications of this of this new version of the Planner One, the tone arm, there's a new RB110 tone arm, which is built and designed by Riga in-house and features their patent pending ultra low friction bearings and this is good you want the bearings to have as little friction as possible because we want the hindrance of the stylus's ability to trap the delicate nuances of the groove to be reduced as much as possible we want that inertia to be as low as possible to get more detail ultimately from our records also important to note about this tone arm is the fact that the bias or the anti-skating if you prefer is pre-set at the factory. You don't have to do anything, it's good to go. Also for the factory fitted Riga carbon cartridge setting the tracking force is essentially you know idiot proof for want of a better word. All you need to do is take the counterweight and push it up to this marker here which is preset to the perfect tracking force for that cartridge and you're good to go making it basically as plug and play as you could want it to be. But the improvements to the new Planner One don't stop there. This is the first of Riga's entry-level turntables to feature their 12-volt synchronous motor, which the company claims offers much lower noise and better speed stability. Also contributing to the speed stability upgrades, if you like, is the increased mass of the platter. It's a phenolic platter, which is Im it's important that the, there is a good amount of mass on a platter because essentially this creates what they call the flywheel effect, which essentially just means when it gets up to speed, then it maintains that speed better. Even this turntable's central bearing appears not to have escaped Riga's apparent relentless pursuit of better design. This brass central bearing is said to essentially reduce stress on the bearing itself whilst also minimising the transfer of potential energy that we don't want. I have noticed that there are quite a few similarities between this turntable and Project's E1 model, which I've also previously reviewed on this channel. Both of them use a very similar composite fibre type plinth design, and they both have a platter which is some varying you know, degree of a polymer of some sort. Now, one of my criticisms of the E1 was just how incredibly light it was, and when you combined that with the felt finished feet, it was very, very easy for the turntable to slip and slide around when you were using it. With the uh, Planner One, it's a much weightier design despite using very similar uh, similar kind of materials. The platter and the plinth both feel heavier, but then combine this with the rubberized feet, which I must say actually as well are a very smart design in terms of reducing vibrations. I'll put a picture on the screen now, but you can see how they minimize the surface contact area of said feet so that you get less vibrations coming back through up into that plinth. So overall, this feels like a weightier, slightly better designed product from that perspective. All of these improvements from a technical perspective are indeed impressive, but the real question remains, how does it perform sonically? Has all this dedication to precise engineering paid off in how the Planar One sounds? Let's spin some records and see how it performs. Going back to when I reviewed the Project E1, I was impressed with its punchy and dynamic sound. The upper mid-range was energetic and the low end was deep and solid. There's a sense of energy and sprightliness, like a teenager eager to impress and make its mark on the world. In comparison, the Riga Planner 1 feels much more grown up, balanced and considered. 
laid back isn't really the word, as there's still plenty of rhythmic energy and dynamic expression, but at the same time, there's a greater sense of control over the timing of each distinct note. While I had to draw this comparison from memory, which can be difficult, my initial feelings were confirmed when I pulled out a record that I played extensively on the Project E1. And this was Black Nasty's Talking to the People, a recent VMP Classics release. The sonic difference, I think, can be described as hearing a punk rock band versus a really tight jazz band. The E1 has bags of energy and enthusiasm like a punk band, while the Planner One is an experienced jazz quintet, a tightly knit, well-oiled machine. To really show this character off, I next reached for a copy of Yes, Fragile. When it came to the track Mood for a Day, I was treated to one of the best renditions of this track's churning bass-heavy opening section and its multiple time signature changes that I've ever heard on an affordable turntable. Tonally, overall, the Planner One is pretty neutral. It doesn't overly emphasise any particular part of the frequency range, resulting in a sound that's neither too bright nor too warm. As a listener, I've always preferred a balanced sound, as I feel it gives an overall presentation that's probably closer to how the artist and producer intended. Music fans who prefer a little more punch and zest in their sound may choose to go elsewhere. However, those seeking an agile and assured sounding presentation with a good amount of detail at an affordable price will definitely not go wanting. So now to sum things up, what's the conclusion on the Riga Planner 1? Classically English, the Riga Planner 1 takes a stiff upper lip approach to the task of affordable vinyl playback. To say it's a great performer for its price would be classic English understatement. I'd go as far as saying the Planner 1 sets the standard for entry level turntables. Granted, if you're in the UK, the price is much more attractive at £299 versus the $595 US dollar price tag. Likely, this is due to the reduced distance that these turntables have to travel if you're based in the UK. There will also be those who just prefer the convenience of detachable head shells on an affordable turntable like a Fluence RT81 Plus, of course. Riga's engineering prowess, though, is hard to deny, and there's certainly something to be said about keeping it simple and focusing funds on the core components such as bearings and motor design. All products, though, have some sort of compromise somewhere, and if I had to pick fault with the Planner One, it would be those moulded-in phono cables. I'd always prefer to see a proper RCA output and a ground terminal, but something has to give somewhere at this price. Speed change is also a little bit fiddly too, as you'll have to lift the platter and move the drive belt yourself, but this is a common compromise at this price point. Focusing on the Planner One's core strengths though, those core components getting the basics right, Riga remain at the top of their game. They've chosen to hunker down and focus funds on product development and it's clearly paying off. The new Planner One is living proof. Thank you ever so much for watching. That concludes today's review. If you think this might be the turntable for you, then check out the link in the description, which is an affiliate link. I get a very small commission if you choose to buy through that link, help support the channel, no extra cost to you. Of course, as always in that same description, there's a whole bunch of discount codes from our partners and sponsors, which also helps to support the channel. And I appreciate your support. You can get a record cleaning products from Groove Washer. You can get record display systems from 12 inch behind, like the ones behind me here. You can get record sleeves from VSS, in my opinion, the best record sleeves you can buy out there on the market. You can get vintage vinyl from Vinyl Pursuit and also a record subscription to Vinyl Moon. So check that out in your own time. I appreciate your support. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on board. But until that next video, make sure you enjoy the music and keep spinning.